Hey guys, welcome to another special episode. Today is another behind the box video and we have a lot of boxes behind us and that's because I've spent the last few weeks preparing for our big trip to the aquatic experience. I'm super excited to be going. Um, it's next week in Chicago, so if you're in the area, I would certainly suggest checking it out. If you've never gone to a big fish convention, trade show, exhibition, it, this is definitely the one to go to. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of people there, a lot of YouTubers there, a lot of famous fish people there. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do all weekend, so definitely go check out the aquatic experience. We are going to be there, my aquarium box, uh, in booth number 519. So if you go, definitely stop by, say hi. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of stuff for sale. We've got a big, big announcement to make about my aquarium box, but we're gonna make it while we're there. So definitely stay tuned for that. Anyways, this is the October edition, my aquarium box. We have two to unbox here. We have the freshwater box and we have the cichlid box. So let's get started. This month we will start with the freshwater box. You can see all of the goodies that were inside this month. All right, first up is a pamphlet from Sarah Fish Foods. This is how to feed your aquariums and your fish. And it's got a lot of great information some photos of different fish and fish food that you can check out um, to basically understand what foods are good for what fish. Pretty neat little pamphlet from Sarah. Next up, we have a card from Zoomed. This talks about a couple of their products. The first is the MagClip product that we actually featured uh, a month or two ago. Uh, it's a cool product. It basically attaches to any airline hose, any heater or whatever, and it's a magnet. So you can sort of drag it around the side of your tank and position it wherever you want. So you don't need to use a suction cup. Uh, the magnet's a little bit better. And then on the back, we've got some Can-O Foods, which are cool as well. All right, next up we have the scorecard. And this month it's printed on two sheets. We had too much to share, so it's on two sheets. We've got the list of items. We've got all of our sponsors. Thank you again to all of our sponsors. We couldn't make this possible without you guys. And then on the other side, we have information about our small business spotlight for October. It's a company called Big on Fish. It's a UK based company and they've got a lot of great information, a lot of great fish calculators and tank size calculators and all kinds of cool things on the site. Uh, it's also a place where if you are in the UK, you can buy fish, but there's a lot of great information on that site for anyone interested in fish. Next up, we have two contests and our contest winners for this past month. The Mega Box is a big contest. Every month we pick two winners. You shoot an unboxing video like this, post it on YouTube, use the hashtag MyAquariumBox, and we will send you a prize. We give away two prizes every month to the best videos from Marineland, big, big prizes, uh, exciting things like canister filters, LED lights, things that are way too big to fit in this box. The second contest is a Facebook contest. All you have to do is shoot a photo of your box, all of the items you received in your box, put it on our My Aquarium Box Facebook page, and you'll automatically be entered to win a free box for next month, which is awesome. And then we've got our little aquatic experience promo on the bottom. So definitely come visit us if you are in the area, if you are planning to go to the aquatic experience. All right, now we get into the items. First up, we have aquascaping thread. This stuff is invaluable when you're setting up a new tank, when you have driftwood that's just slightly buoyant, and you have rocks and you wanna to try to tie everything together when you've got aquarium plants. And especially if they're like the rhizome type plants where you can easily sort of wrap them around and attach them to your driftwood. Um, this stuff is awesome to use in all of those situations to sort of tie all of your freshwater uh, aquascape tanks together. Uh, this stuff is non-toxic and it will slowly fall apart over time 
uh, and sort of dissipate and um, it's basically just like cotton thread. So um, your plants will get a chance to root and then this stuff slowly disappears and you're left with a healthy tank. All right, next up we have three feeding cones and these are awesome when you have a, um, any type of frozen food that you are feeding to your fish. Uh, essentially we have a plastic cone and then we've got a little suction cup. You can attach that to the back. You slap that on the side of your tank in such a way that your water level is right around here. And then you pop your frozen cubes in that and then your fish can feed on your frozen food all day long if they want to. And it doesn't uh, get into your gravel or your substrate or whatever else. It stays up where your fish can get to them. All right, next up is a really exciting fish food from my aquarium box. This is a one ounce sample of brine shrimp flake. This is probably one of my favorites of our fish foods that we've launched recently. I mean, the color of this food is absolutely amazing. Really high quality ingredients and uh, it's something that you should definitely try feeding to your fish to see how uh, colorful you might be able to get them. All right, next up is a tube. And this is a ceramic clay crayfish tube. It's open all the way through, so it's not a cave, it's a tube. And uh, if you use like PVC pipes and stuff like that for your crayfish hides, um, those are fine, but they look, they look terrible in the tank. So if you're trying to make your tank look nice, this is obviously something that's going to help with that. And it's gonna give those uh, crayfish and shrimp and uh, maybe your tiny plecos and other things a place to hide. And these are especially good with crayfish because they like to have two ways to escape. Uh, they like to be able to put their claws forward, but they like to be able to climb all the way out the back um, if they're you know, getting attacked or something like that. So definitely a good item to have for any of your tanks that may have crayfish in them. All right, next up we have a small piece of spider wood. Spider wood is a really interesting type of wood. Um, you know, this is obviously a very small piece, but they do make them in larger sizes. Uh, this stuff has a lot of character to it. It doesn't sink all on its own. Uh, so it is something that you're going to need to tie down with something like this, or you just let it float in the tank for a few weeks and eventually it will sink. But this stuff has a lot of character. You can attach different mosses to it, uh, java fern to it, other things, and uh, it'll look really great. It sort of has that root-like uh, appeal to it. So uh, it looks good in a lot of different aquascapes. So a tiny piece of that. We've got more for sale. If you're interested, uh, you can definitely check that out as well. All right, and the last big item we have in the freshwater box for this month is a one pound bag of ceramic biomedia. My aquarium box ceramic biomedia. You can never get too much of this stuff. You can use it in your canister filters, your hang on back filters, your sump chambers, anything that has biologic uh, media in it, this stuff is great for that. So nice big bag, heavy bag of that. That should be good for a fairly large tank, like at least a 15 or 20 gallon tank. So plenty of uh, filter media for you and any tanks you might set up or any tanks you want to supplement. All right, let's rock it through the cichlid box real quick. We do have a few similar items, so this should be pretty quick. We've got our scorecard as well with sponsors and same information there. We've got the Sarah brochure, which we just talked about, and the Zoomed brochure. So we can set those aside. All right, next up is uh, a really interesting item that I'm actually really excited to try out. And it's five little suction cup thingies. And um, you know, you might look at it and be like, what the hell do you use this for? These are to attach a tank divider. So if you have a piece of glass, if you have a piece of acrylic, if you have a piece of like hobby net mesh, uh, if you have anything that is a flat sheet of material that has holes in it, or maybe even doesn't have holes in it, these are what you can use to slide into place 
a flat sheet of material that's cut to the inside dimensions of your tank to allow you to create a tank divider. Now, oftentimes what happens, especially if you have larger fish or cichlids or things that like to move your substrate, you know, you can like try to put a tank divider in, but it, it, it always gets knocked out. I mean, you know, fish are strong, they're powerful, and if they wanna to get to the other side, they're gonna to try to get to the other side. So this has enough suction cups. It's got, you know, five pieces, two su 10 suction cups. It's got enough suction cups that it's going to stay securely in place inside your tank. So if you're looking for a little DIY project, this is a great way to create a tank divider and secure it in place. In fact, I might do a video on that uh, in the coming weeks when I have a chance. All right, next up we have a big bag of cichlid pellets. This is a half pound bag of five millimeter cichlid pellets. Any of your cichlids that have big mouths and big appetites, this is the food you want to feed to them. Uh, but this stuff is generally good for a lot of different varieties of fish. And um, even though it's five millimeter, you know, a lot of, a lot of your like medium to large size fish will be able to eat this. So big, big bag, it'll go a long way. And uh, when you run out, you can always come see us once again. All right, this is an interesting item. And I think this confused a few people, um, but this is something that I'm also pretty excited about. This is a reusable 10 inch filter cartridge. So if you have a like a three stage carbon filter or if you have, you know, anything to um, filter your water, um, usually it's either like a one stage or a three stage. If you're salt water, you know, you might have like up to a five stage filter. This is a reusable cartridge. So a lot of times you just use, a, use uh, you know, the cartridge and when it's spent, you throw it out and you get a new one. But this has a reusable chamber. So you can open this up. It's got the rubber gaskets on the, on the top and uh, I don't think, it doesn't have one on the bottom, but it doesn't need one. And uh, then it's got this little piece of uh, sponge or filter foam. I can't actually reach it but that little piece of foam fits down along the bottom and then you can fill this entire cartridge with granular activated carbon. You can fill it with deionizing resin. You can, you can fill it with anything you can really imagine um, which needs to sort of go through your water before your water is safe to use with your fish. So a lot of cichlid people, you know, if, if you want to get cleaner, purer water, um, you know, it, it might be the case where, you know, you're putting it through a, a carbon filter, granular activated carbon filter, and then, uh, you know, rebuffering it, remineralizing it, whatever you need to do um, to, you know, help out your, your more finicky fish. So this is a great item to have. If you have a, like a three stage carbon filter, this is something you will definitely use right away. If you don't have something like that, keep this on hand because at some point, you probably will want to set one up um, and this is going to help you along the way. Uh, also, using a refillable cartridge like this can save you a lot of money over the long run because you can get uh, you know, carbon and any other uh, sort of media like that uh, in bulk, put it in here, use it until it's spent and then you just dump it out and then you can refill it. And oftentimes when you buy things like that in bulk, you're saving a lot of money over just buying sort of the pre-made, you know, one time and throw it away type uh, cartridges. So this will save you a lot of money over the long run when you're in a position to use it. So keep it around. All right, next up is another pretty cool item. And uh, I never, like, sometimes I go looking for things and uh, the things that I didn't even know existed. and like. This honestly is what gets me most excited about my aquarium box and it's sort of like, you know, what, what, I, what I like every single month is finding stuff like this and bringing it to you guys and putting it in the box. This is a tubing cutter. And I don't know if that's focused real well on the camera, but you can see on the top we've got a blade and on the bottom we've sort of got a slot. And if you have any kind of aquarium tubing, all you do is lay it in that slot and then you press down and it cuts your tubing. So if you've got airline tubing, if you've got uh, sort of like the RODI type tubing, which goes to filter cartridges, 
any sort of small size tubing, this is a really great tool to cut that with. And when you're done, you can lock it back in place so it doesn't uh, cut anyone. Um, so this is a really cool tool. Uh, on the back side too, if you've ever used quick connect fittings, um, you may know that if you're trying to take a quick connect out, you have to sort of hold against the little plastic part while you're pulling the tube, otherwise the quick connect stays in place. This little thing allows you to hold that plastic piece in place while you're pulling on your quick connect um, you know, or your tubing that's connected to your quick connect. So it's a nice little feature on the back side of this tubing cutter, which is gonna help make your life easier in the long run. Very cool little item. I am super excited to put this in my fish room because I will use it constantly. And the last item, again, is our ceramic filter media. So that was the October edition, my aquarium box, the freshwater box, and the cichlid box. Again, next week we are taking off to the Aquatic Experience in Chicago. Come check us out, booth 519. We've got a lot of great stuff to sell. We've got fish foods, we've got aquascaping supplies. We've got t-shirts. We made up t-shirts. So this is the Greg Jones t-shirt. We've got the Mass Aquariums t-shirt. We've got a My Aquarium Box t-shirt. So definitely come check us out. Say hi. Can't wait to meet you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.